I would now like to welcome on stage Foreign and Trade Minister Dr. Zarif of Iran. Bismillah ar rahim Allow me to begin by expressing our thanks to the host and the organizers of this important conference. And we hope that this conference can go a long way in addressing the humanitarian needs of the Syrian people. Five years of humanitarian tragedy in Syria has gone by without a resolution, and its humanitarian impact is becoming ever larger and wider. The death and injury of tens of thousands of people and the displacement of millions both inside and outside Syria, as well as the continuation of the destruction and the brutal images of barbarism, continue to agonize the entire humanity. From the beginning of the crisis in Syria, we maintain that a political resolution through intra-Syrian talks is the only way out. We have also underlined that outside actors should facilitate such dialogue and not seek to dictate it, its parameters or outcome. In all three ISSG meetings in Vienna and New York, we insisted on the imperative of an immediate ceasefire. We continue to do so. We hope that the pause in the Geneva talks is only temporary. Distinguished colleagues, aside from the displaced Syrians that have left the country, close to five million have fled their homes and are internally displaced and live in miserable conditions inside Syria. Iran has focused on providing aid to these internally displaced people and to the local population at large. We continue to send food, medicine, medical teams, refugee camps, including tents, blankets, heaters, kerosene, heating oil, and gas cylinders for families, and assist with public services, including public transport, and in agriculture, food processing, and power plants. Iran has also sent scores of ambulances, equipped numerous hospitals, dispatched medical supplies, and established clinics, which have treated thousands of sick and injured Syrians, totaling close to $2.8 billion to date. Working with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent, we will continue to distribute aid to all possible parts of the country and stand ready to assist in that process. However, considering the extent of the humanitarian catastrophe, much more needs to be done inside as well as outside Syria. Allow me to close by expressing my appreciation to the host and the organizers of this conference again and reiterate our readiness to engage in all efforts to bring an immediate ceasefire and to collaborate in humanitarian endeavors to alleviate the suffering of the Syrian people. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you very much.